This is Pastor Judy Carney from the Spirit of the Dove Ministry from the in, in Akron, Ohio. I have a very special guest with me today. God has miraculously brought us together and in many ways more than what we even thought about in our own self. He has worked miraculous things through this precious woman's body to show you what his miracle power will do. So from this, the, the anointing and from the teachings that come to the ministry from the Spirit of the Dove, we realize that it's the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We realize the blood of Jesus is for our salvation, and the Holy Ghost power is for the command, and we speak in other tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance. We believe in the whole Word of God. We believe in the King James Version of the Bible. So we're going to go on from there, and I'm going to introduce to you today this our guest for today, Miss, Miss Annette Knight. Would you find believe in your story, Annette, as to what God has done for you? Yes. Thank you. When I came to this ministry three years ago, I was um, had been in a very bad motorcycle accident, um, June 19, 2001, and my boyfriend at that time, he died, and I died and had a trip to heaven and back and was never supposed to make it, and God's amazing grace carried me, and but God became my testimony in my life after many miracles and many amazing things of God letting me walk on broken bones and breathe when I shouldn't have been able to breathe. And Can I stop you? You mean to tell me you can actually tell these people that you could walk on those broken bones? Yes. How can that happen? But God. But God. But that's, God. Our, that's our slogan here with but her God. testimony, but God. Right. I just did that because I wanted them to know anything and everything is possible with God. That's right. With man, he's limited, and we thank God for good doctors, good nurses. We're not against any of that. God gave us good doctors and nurses. Yes. Luke was a physician and traveled with the, with our Lord. Yes. So therefore, he wasn't against doctors, so mm -hmm. neither am I. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's a place where we have to find the man has done all he can do. Then what? But but God. God. But so God. go ahead. So after, after many of other churches of not having faith to trust and believe like I did, a friend of mine, after being at a church, I was dying of lung cancer and I was breathing oxygen. I was at 65% and they said I would have four weeks or less to live. And another pastor, I had asked him to pray for me and he said, I'm sorry, Annette, maybe God won't heal you this time. And my faith hit the floor because I never heard such a thing before. And my faith was so great in myself after God letting me walk for years on broken bones and many of other miracle things. I, I couldn't believe what he said. I'm so, sorry that a man of God would use such a terminology when God himself said of Jesus as a miracle from a virgin. And miracles came with Jesus all the way. And I was very sorry for a man of God. I don't even need to know, but I just feel sorry that anybody would be so far into deceit they wouldn't recognize what God says. All things are possible with God. That's Thank right. you. So I um, had a friend I met at that church, and she said on the way out the door that day as I was could barely crawl out of the church after that, she said, please let me take you to a lady that I know. And I said, okay, under one condition that you don't tell her anything about me. Don't tell her that I'm walking on broken bones and don't tell her about the accident. And don't even tell her my name. Just let me go there. And she agreed. And That's true, she didn't. So Come that on. day we came here, <clears throat> I left my oxygen tank in the car because I wanted to try her spirit. After many of churches of deceit, I had to see. The Lord says try the spirits to see if they be of God. So I believed that and I wanted to try her spirit and so I came through the door and as soon as I hit the porch I felt the power of God come upon me I was like wow this house is so anointed where is this place and so we came in and I sat down and the Holy Ghost in her started speaking over me and he told her that I was walking on two broken legs and I don't remember that. I knew that, that was it was God and I asked her at the end of the service to please pray for me. I didn't tell her that I was dying. I didn't tell her that I couldn't mm -hmm. breathe because I could breathe while I was here and that never happened. And when she got up to pray for me, bam, she hit me and the power of God knocked me out. And I got up and 
I thought, wow, I haven't felt that kind of power for yeah. a long time. That's our Holy Spirit. That's the blood yes. of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost in combination. The blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Power of God through the Holy Ghost. Yes. I love the Blessed Trinity. I love Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I love the fact that when <clears throat> the Father fulfilled his, he said, but I'm going to send you another. He That's sends right. Jesus. When Jesus was here, he introduced us and he said, but I'm going to send you the Holy Ghost. That's so we're right. in the Holy Ghost dispensation. Many churches are blaspheming against the Holy Ghost because they are cutting the Holy Ghost out of their lives, out of their churches, out of their teaching. That's blasphemy. So they better quit it because no matter what government comes out with, we can't go by the government says, when you're under the government law, get out of it. If your churches are signed up or you have to go through the government, you better get out of it and do thus saith the Lord. It's never, ever going to work out. Never that way. Never, never. That's right. Think. I don't Right. Smile well, never, never. We're just trying to help each other smile here. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. When I, um, Jan's my secretary. She wrote a little note. When I left here that day, uh, my faith was so lifted after meeting her and the spirit in her that I didn't need my oxygen on the way home. And I couldn't breathe for five minutes without my oxygen then. And I drove all the way home and I could breathe. And Thank that God. night, I Thank could breathe, God, Lord Jesus. and I couldn't go anywhere without my oxygen. I couldn't breathe, and I, I was so amazed when I left here. The spirit was just shaking me all over, and I was so happy to finally meet a true child of God. Well, a, thank you. A true what woman. I'm, what I'm so happy about is how he uses an individual such as anybody, myself, with the hand of a human hand, with the power of God. It's not with anything I can do or say. It's do with the power, say of the Lord. The blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm nothing, just a hunk of meat. I'm just made just like everybody else. I'm just a little bit of dirt put together and made into life. But from a very child, you know, I was pronounced dead, and I think you were. Yes, I was. I was supposed to die. At birth. And God kept us for this hour. Why? So we can share with these people. That's right. So we can share with God has his hand on us. The devil couldn't take us then. That's and he right. hasn't shut my mouth since. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't mine either. <laughs> so <laughs> he's tried. He brought us together he's for tried. a good reason. Go ahead. That's, That's right. right. And then I then I went to the doctor a week later and my doctor was amazed. He said, Annette, your oxygen is ninety seven percent. That's not possible. I said, But God and then he started X raying me again in my cancer that was all in my chest that yeah. they showed me. My lungs had been hemorrhaging. All of that was gone. My lungs were crystal clear. And I knew that God healed but me. God. But God. But God. He healed me of that. I take no credit because I'm only, like I said, clay. That's but right. God moves through people that he can trust. That's right. And I'm thankful that he comes here to help us. That's right. He's wonderful. God He's bless. awesome. I love him. And I came back the next Thursday and I thought, wow, that was amazing. So I'll ask for a little bit more. And my leg had been crushed. It's the only leg in the whole world. Can I show them? Sure. Sure, um, show them. I'll show you my my scars. I don't know if you can see you them. You have to get over no, this way towards me. Way. I don't know whether we can show them, but they're scars in there. They're scars. Deep, deep, deep wounds in deep my wounds. foot. And my foot, my ankle was ripped out of the socket, and I had a hole right here. Yes. And I, for years, 11 years, could push it and push my finger through the hole in my foot. And when I stepped on her back porch for the second time, my hole is filled in. There's a mark where it used to be. Yeah, right there. and my holes here are filled in. And I don't have no socket. I have two screws. And I'm not supposed to be able to do this, but God. I know. <laughs> She's waving at you. <laughs> I have to use my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was very excited, very excited to, to share with the world how amazing the Lord is with just a mustard seed of faith. <clears throat> All you have to do is believe what you asked him for, and you can receive it. You just have to believe it. I, I've been to many of churches and seen many of things in the Spirit, and people don't have faith to believe. They ask God for things, but then they doubt. And you can't get it with doubt. You have to believe it and stand in it and crawl in Trusting. it. Trusting. 
Yes. Interesting. Faith. Believing God. Faith. Yes. Here's the thing the Reverend Durness has got out. Press the faith button. That's right. The faith, the faith button. That's we have to press right. the faith. Of, we have to get yeah. get our faith to working with the faith button with God. That's right. And I can remember, I'd like to say something, that a lot of the ministers that you approached, they didn't accept you. That's Let's say a kind word about that. Okay. Because you was marked to come here. Yes. God had us marked. You had seen things. You knew about it. I didn't know about it, but God had marked you so that we could work together. So therefore, they weren't trying to be cruel. It was just that the, I believed in my heart that the Lord just kept them from receiving it because he wanted to put you where he was going to use you so we could work together. And I thank God for bringing you to me, Annette. And I thank You've God been a for precious, giving, precious soul to work with. For giving you to yes. me. What a But we've got a wonderful pastor. teaching, and, and Annette has found that I teach through the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I teach them, like I said, the King James Version, which I feel is the most wonderful Bible you'll get with the most truth that you'll find that I know of. So I use that, and I ask everybody listen to me. If they've got any of the NIV, please get rid of them. Because they've taken, it says, if you add to or take away from the words of my Bible, you know, my word, you've taken your life, your name out of the book of life. Get rid of them. They take the TH off of everything. It's walk, talk, hear. It said, walketh, talketh, and hear it. And when the TH is stopped, it stops it from continuation. That's right. So I'm pleading with people to dispose of anything that is not, at least I feel, the King James Version. The others, I have to say, God has led me to believe are nothing to put your hand into. Because your mind gets saturated with part truth, and then it's hard for the Holy Spirit to move. Yes, it See? is. But we've had some wonderful times in the we spirit have. of the Dove ministry, and Annette has been such a blessing. And uh, we get together, and we, we, I love it because we give God all the praise. It isn't anything that either one of us have felt we could do. We are nothing. We're both just, if I think you're just clay. I'm just Still, clay. I'm just, just clay. like you. You're you just know, clay. We're just clay. But we do have a wonderful group here that yes. meets. And the website, which I said, you're more than welcome to write me. I've been, I do have a, a secretary, and we answer as many as we can that we get through. Yes. If, we get, if I get a letter, they ask for an answer. We do our best. If I need to hire somebody, we'll hire somebody. This ministry is out there to help the people who want the truth. That's right. With the truth, we're going to be rapture ready. Without the truth, we won't make it. It's going to take, it took, the, it took the Father for the Old Testament, it took Jesus to get us ready so that we could get the Holy Ghost. So as the Jesus, the, the Jesus came in, he brought us our salvation. But then he said, but I'm going to give you another <coughs> in that Holy Ghost. And I believe fully that we're in the dispensation and that we are in what we call the rapture or the taking out of the bride of Christ. And we'll meet him shortly in here. But don't you feel that God has... A mission that this this is going to get further than even yes. just the website definitely you know and anybody that's there that knows of uh, wanting to get us into anything we'll go where God says us we'll do what God wants us to do we honor him we praise him I thank God for the testimony of a person who was walking on bones that were broken and never fixed by man uh, and we know that 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 this is something man cannot do. That's right. The, if, if, if they set them or put braces, they're different. You never did that. You trusted no, I God. Wear a <laughs> halo. My leg was crushed. I had three compound fractures, 19 fractures. My knee and my ankle were ripped out of my body. This is the only leg in the entire world that is still attached to the body that was broken yeah. that many times in that many places. So that was a miracle in itself. Then a special doctor that God called and gave me made a halo for me. And I wore that for nine and a half months flat in a hospital bed. After three days in a coma, they said I had 1% to come out of that I would never walk again. Not just because of the crushing in my leg, my back injuries, my neck injuries. I had many of injuries. Matter of fact, in the ICCU unit I had the worst injuries in the whole floor and I was one out of two that walked out of there yes, yes. they had a black bag on a gurney with a net knight's <laughs> name right on it because they were so positive that I would not live which shows that man doesn't always know the whole truth that's right God knows the whole thing he knows you were going to be marked for this day and hour so we that's can right. reach people with that's a testimony right. that don't give up 
There's so always the, it's always Jesus with His stripes. My Bible says with we His 39 healed. blood stripes we're healed. That's Not right. maybe. I didn't see yeah. maybe a big question mark. Yeah, we neither. are healed and we were That's healed. Right. That's right. So if people can get it in their head that they're healed, they'll get their healing. But if they doubt, now we go to doctors. I've just been to a doctor recently. Right. I don't deny that. I believe in good doctors, good nurses, because God gave them that too. That's right. You know, yes. health comes from many ways, but. In the final analysis, God is the healer. That's right. He knits together the bones. He's That's right. if you get cut open, they put stitches, but those stitches have to go back together. That's that right. healing's been put in your body. Yes. So God is no matter how people look at it, it's God that gets all the credit. That's right. All the credit. That's when right. You, when we uh, I'm sorry, Pastor, when right. we go through certain things, like some of the things that you have went through even, um, doctors are limited with what yes. they can really do. Just recently. Yes, yes, and this was just recently for you. It's been a while for me now, but it's been just recently for you. But doctors become limited. They can only do a certain amount. And when you hit that certain amount, if you don't have that faith in Jesus to do the rest, you might not pull out of it like you think. But, but God, He is so amazing that just with that little thought in our mind, that faith to believe and trust in Him, like the Word says that all things are possible through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. If we have that faith to believe, there's nothing in our life, not no sickness, not no cancer, not no brokenness, that God can't take or care of. Or marriages. That's right. Marriages, anything that we put in His hand. But what I was going to tell you is I went to the hospital this last time, which was just few, just yes, recently. Just, yeah. just recently, I hadn't I hadn't had a kidney thing. I hadn't been able to urinate for 24 hours, you know. Yes. And I knew this wasn't normal. Mm -hmm. And I went there. I stayed there, everything, I, and they, they did all they knew what to do. Not one test, though, came back with anything in me. That's I right. had to make another witness. I had to be another That's testimony. Right. When I go there, I know that I'm not alone. That's I don't right. fear it. And I'm so thankful for good doctors and the right. nurses. They're, they were so kind to me. Yes. But it's just like in the final analysis, when they left me come home, I was urinating. But the day that I went in there, before I went to my room, I urinated. Wow. And I hadn't praise, done that. Praise it, the Lord. I hadn't done that in 20, all, all yes. that time. Praise the Lord. That's so right. So it was my, it was showing me that I was to be a witness somehow. That's right. And from then on, I didn't have nothing. They found blood work. They did. They took tubes of blood. I kept trying to tell them I gave some work, but they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> they kept taking blood. Yes. They did that. Yes. And I said, so for one thing, to let all of us know God is still in control. That's right. No matter what. If That's we get right. in the hospital, we think it's useless. No, God is in control. That's right. If we know how to believe, all things are possible That's to him that believe it. Right. And that TH on the end of that believe means continue That's to believe it. Right. Believe yes. it in the power of the blood. Believe it yes. in the word of God. Believe it that, that you that God says, I hear everything you say. That's right. He hears everything. And I'm sure he's smiling upon this today because it gives it gives the, the blessed Trinity the complete credit. Yes. Man That's can right. do nothing. Doctors, I thank you for. Yes. They do their best. But in the final analysis, God heals. That's right. He's given the men knowledge. He's given the nurses knowledge. Thank you, God, for yes. the wonderful staff Thank that you've given us of nurses yes. and doctors. We have a, a you, we have a doctor friend. Mm -hmm. He still don't know we know yeah, each other. That's right. But yeah. he'll be shocked one day when he yes. sees us together. When he sees us. Because I've had similar things that he yes. didn't think would you know be, yes. be curable. But you see, when we trust in our God, right. we have nothing to what. Nothing to fear. And nothing, and nothing to, to worry, about. worry about. So as to, as we leave you today, remember, anytime you want to contact yes. us, yes. and you get onto the web or send us, we will, we will take time, and I'm sure Annette will help me, and yes. I have a secretary named Janice. Janice, I'm sure she will help us. We'll get together. We'll get our best to get back to you. And I got a beautiful letter the other day. We quickly got into answering it. And I, I'm so thankful when I hear knowing that we are reaching people to give them hope. Not hope in anything except that God is our deliverer. In the holy blood of Jesus. In the faith of the word of God. In the trusting that he said, I'll be with you always. I don't think he said anything. He said, I'll never leave you. And he'll never forsake you. 
So Annette, will you say goodbye and then I will. Goodbye. And, and listen to you. It takes the blood of Jesus for dying, but it takes the Holy Ghost for flying. See you in the rapture. <laughs>